In the previous video, I showed you how to create this uh, grouped frequency distribution table in a smart way. So I can just modify the width and the start, and it will just change all these values. Now we're going to add in additional requirement here. So I am given a data set right here. I want to make this uh, group frequency distribution table for this particular data set, but so obviously I have to cover the right range of values. So I have to make sure all my values are going to fall into one of the classes, but I need exactly 10 classes with a quote, nice unquote class width, which in this case just means a whole number, an integer. So no decimals. Uh, each class should contain its lower class limit and the lower class limits should all be multiples of the class width. So that's important. All right, so we need 10 classes. So I've already copied all this data. Again, highlight, control C to copy. I'm gonna run back to Excel. I'm pasting all my data here. And I wanna know the min of all these numbers. You could put them in a single column and then uh, sort it and look at the top and the bottom for the min and the max, but you can also just use the min function. And I highlighted the whole thing. And if you're a formulas person, it goes K8, which is the upper left corner, colon N14, which is the lower right corner. I don't want to click on these because it'll mess up my formula, but that's how you get a rectangle instead of just a column, a part of a column or part of a row. What is going on? I don't need help. All right, so that's the min. Max is the same thing. Uh, equals, you just, of course, use the max, not mac, max, M-A-X. And then I'm clicking and dragging to get all that. All right, 177 to 421. So I want to know the range, which is the difference of these two numbers. So equals 421, M16 minus K16, enter, 244. I want 10 classes, so I'm going to cut this into 10 pieces. So equals 244 over 10. Now, I know I could have divided by 10 in my head, but if I needed 13 classes, I could have not, I could not have divided 244 by 13 in my head. All right. Why did I do all this? The class width is approximately 24.4, but it's not exactly 24.4. We need to uh, play around. It needs to be a nice number. So it could be 24, it could be 25, it could be even 26, 27, 28, something close to 24. And we're going to mess around with this. So this class width, let's just try 24. So first thing I'm gonna do is width, I'm gonna edit that to be 24, enter. Okay, so I got the right class width, but start is not allowed to be 25. I also need 10 classes. I'm counting zero to nine. So what I have highlighted is 10 items here. You can see the count down here uh, in the bottom of the screen is 10. So these are 10 classes. I'm deleting the extra ones. So now I have exactly 10 classes here. Uh, Go ahead, highlight that. All right, I need to modify my start. So if these are all my values, my minimum is 177. So if you look at this, all these classes are wasted because they don't contain 177. The first class that would be used if I use this table would be class six. So this is not gonna be good. And of course, 421 is not even close to fitting into my last class. All right, so I'm not gonna start at 25, I need to start much higher. Now I could just type 177. This, this actually would work pretty well. I don't go quite high enough on my last class. Uh, but with this, at least I fit almost all my values into these classes. All right, the question I'm answering, however, was a little more picky. Each class, the, the lower class limits should all be multiples of the class width. All right, including the lower, the first lower class limit. So that means my starting value needs to be a multiple of my width. So my starting value, now I'm gonna use a little math here, equals B1, so the width, and I'm picking a multiple here. So let's just go times five. I'm just taking a multiple here. 
All right, I need a bigger multiple. So 120 is too small, five, I'll go to six. 144, getting better. We'll try a sub multiple using seven. 168, that's getting really close to my minimum value. Uh, just for safety, I'll go to eight. 192, that's too high, so I wanna go back down to seven. All right, so now my minimum would be 168 for my first class. Uh, it will fit my smallest value. It'll fit most of these values, but the largest value, 421, is gonna escape my last class. So, we don't have too many choices. Uh, if, if I start this one further up again, now I would capture 421 in my last class, but I would miss 177 in my first class. So that's not acceptable either. So I did control Z to undo that. So I'm gonna leave this start alone. Let's, instead, let's increase the width. So let's go to 25, enter. Now, if you notice, that also modified start, because start, I already used that B1, that multiple uh, of my width as my starting value. So this starting value is already, of 175, is already a multiple. Now, if you look, my 177 does fit in to my first class. My very last class, luckily, goes to 424. So this right here is the answer to the question I'm trying to get. So my class width was 25, lower class limit was 175. And we're gonna submit that. Okay. Now there's a good chance, I kinda got lucky on this one. There's a good chance your upper value is maybe a little higher than 421. Let's go with uh, uh, 430. All right, so if I had 430 now, I, st I kept, now again, I changed the question here, so I can't go back and answer it correctly in my open math, but let's play around with these value values here to capture the minimum and the maximum inside this table. So now 430 is too big. So my minimum of 175 is fine, but my upper uh, class, my highest class, won't capture 430. So if I change my start to B times eight, Again, that's not a good move because now my initial class would not capture 177. So I'm just going to bump my width up. And you may have to do this on yours. You may have to go up. You may need to increase your width three, four, or five times. Uh, but it should be really quick. So if you look, I just increased my width. My entire table shifted. Um, but now I have a problem. My minimum is now too big. I won't get 177 in here. So now we have to go to start and decrease the start by one multiple. So now I'm down to 156 as my start. 177 will fit in here, uh, but now 430 is not gonna get into the last class. And the way I'm fixing that is I'm gonna bump up my width to 27. And look at that, finally, I get 430, we'll get into the last class. 177 will get into the first class and then all the other numbers will be in one of the classes here. All right, so if this was my uh, answer, width is one is 27 and my initial min is 162, so that would be 27, 162. Now, I'm, if I hit submit, I'll say wrong because I just made up this these numbers. Uh, so hopefully that will get you through this question. And this is a very, very tricky one. So you should feel good when you finish it.